Firefighters are trying to figure out what started this massive fire near Portage. It gutted the home near West Carroll Street. The wind and the size of the fire forced part of Wisconsin 16 to be shut down while firefighters tried to get it under control. Everyone inside got out unharmed. Tony Galley is live in Portage. He has more on how it started and how the people inside were able to escape. Tony. George, here on uh, Portage's West Wisconsin Street, the building that once stood behind me was restored several years ago, but as you can see, it is now in complete ruins. The remnants knocked down today after fire and smoke swept through the entirety of the three-story structure, women, children, and others escaping from this fire. Now, we have video from an eyewitness. It shows the intensity of the flames. Portage's fire chief says this fire started small on the building's front porch, but then took off before flames and smoke swallowed up the building around 10 a.m. A mother with small children and others in the building's apartment units escaped. I was the first person to call 911. I ran out. The family was trying to like get situated and I said you need to come out you need to come out you can't go back in they couldn't go in for anything they were just out they were didn't have shoes on they they just came out of the house authorities say everyone did get out of the burning building safely neighbors say the tenants had no rentors insurance portage fire chief Clayton Simonson says the cause of this destructive fire remains under investigation but investigators already have some good leads 